Hello again. This is our continuing series on the Alabama Trauma System. This video will focus on the criteria to put patients in the system. Again, we have physiological, anatomical mechanism, and if they don't meet any of the other criteria and you have, say, a gut instinct or you've seen a patient like this uh, decompensate, you may use EMSP discretion. So the first one, the physiological, this has to do with systolic blood pressure, respiratory rate, in neurological status. So in an adult, anybody less than a 90 pound blood pressure over the age of six years old. In a child less than five, a BP of less than 80 systolic. As far as respiratory rate in an adult, they follow ATLS guidelines and PHTLS and ITLS guidelines. A respiratory rate less than 10 or over 29. In children, it goes a little bit more than that, but as a rule, it's less than 20 over 40. And then a newborn, uh, it's going to be less than 20 or over 60. Now, as far as neurological, they're going to be head trauma in an adult over the age of six, as they justify in the trauma criteria, is a GCS of less than 13, or head trauma in any child under the age of five that has had neurological changes. So that is physiological. Then we have anatomical. Okay, we want to assess a actual injured patient, flailed chest, any st instability in the chest, uh, two or more long bone fractures. Remember, these are long bone, humerus and femur, penetrating to the head, neck, torso, groin, or extremities proximal, proximal from the knee and the elbow. Any combination of burns that equal greater than 15%. A, a, if you're unsure about the burn, please refer to the burn protocol that may help you. Any amputation, uh, proximal to the wrist or ankle. One or more paralyzed limbs pelvic fracture that you have any kind of positive movement or crepitus, a crush or glove mangled hand or pulse extremity, a open or depressed, depressed skull fracture. Now mechanism, if it doesn't mean any of that, we move on down to mechanism. Mechanism, the same method of restraint in the same seating area as a deceased patient. An ejection from a motor vehicle, a motorcycle, ATV, or bicycle that the patient was thrown more than 10 feet, a auto versus pedestrian where they were either thrown or run over by the vehicle, a unbroken fall in an adult greater than 20 feet, and in a child either 10 feet or three times the height of the child. Uh, if your patient doesn't meet any of that criteria, but you really think he needs to go into the trauma system, you can use the EMSP discretion. Some of these examples, and again, if you just have a gut instinct, you can do that. But some of them might be ages under five, over 65. Maybe they have a history of pregnancy, COPD uh, history, uh, motorcycle crashes, bleeding disorders, they're on Coumadin, they have any kind of unusual bleeding uh, disorders, temperature extremes, very cold, very hot, type 1 diabetes, uh, congenital disorders that you think may uh, be masking some disease process, uh, may be masking the trauma. Any renal dialysis patients, uh, metabolic disorders, uh, just anything um, that you may think may be masking this or extrication using heavy tools. Thank you.